Well, today we're going to focus on using the substitution method with trig functions. So let's first review the trig functions we have memorized. The integral of sine of x is negative cosine of x plus c because it's indefinite integral. Integral of cosine is sine of x plus c. The integral of cosecant squared x, hmm, well, that would have to be a negative cotangent x plus c. And last of all, secant squared x is tangent x plus c. Now, we will use these four tools and other identities as our building blocks to be able to understand better what is the integral of these four functions. Now, if you look on your resource page, the integral of these functions is quite confusing. Like the integral of tangent is negative natural log of the absolute value of cosine of x plus c. Now you ask yourself, where did they get that from? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Let's take a look. So, oh, actually, I'm going to take a look right here. So integral of tangent x, we could rewrite that as the integral of sine of x over cosine of x. And this looks like a u substitution problem because typically we'll let u be the denominator or a higher degree or under an integral. And here we get negative sine of x dx, which is almost a match. We just need to multiply both sides by a negative. So now we can rewrite this integral in terms of u. So we get u to the negative 1 because cosine's in the denominator and it's negative du. So when we take the integral, that would be negative the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. Well, the natural log, I'm sorry, but u is cosine of x. So check it out. This is where the rule comes from on your sheet. And as you can see, cotangent is going to work very similar. Instead of being sine over x, it's cosine over sine of x. And in this problem, we'll let u be the denominator, which is sine of x. The derivative is cosine x dx. And then if we substitute that in, we get the integral of u to the negative 1 du, which is the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c, which turns out to be the natural log of sine of x plus c. So now those integral rules don't look quite so confusing. Now, cosecant and secant, they're a little bit more of a handful. And you know what? I don't think at this time I'm going to go ahead and do that, but we'll just make sure we look at our rule sheet and know that the integral of cosecant is negative, the natural log of the absolute value of cosecant x plus cotangent x plus c. And then make sure you look at the integral of secant because it's a doozy also. So now let's try to apply some of our knowledge here to evaluating an integral using some um, of our information here. So in this problem, when I look, I have a choice. What should I let, because we see that we have two factors. And so the question is, do I let u be cosecant squared or cotangent? Well, of course we let it be cotangent because you're all saying, well, Ms. Kleiber, the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared x. So we just have to multiply both sides by negative, and we get a perfect match for rewriting this integral in terms of u. So I have u to the 1 half negative du, which ends up being negative u, and we add 1, so it's 3 halves, all divided by 3 halves, plus c, which works out to be negative cotangent, well, 2 thirds cotangent of, I'm sorry, let me redo that again. Ooh, I'm not sure where, oh, there's the eraser. So we can erase, yeah, right there. Okay, so apologize. So u is cotangent x, I'll pick, pick, pick the pen, cotangent of x to the 3 halves plus c. There we go. Should have gotten it that time. Okay. Now, let's look at this problem. Now, this problem, cotangent 7x, 
hmm, what should we do? Well, we could write it as a proof like we did earlier, where we have cosine of 7x over sine of 7x, and we end up with u being sine of 7x. And then we get the derivative of u is negative cosine of 7x times 7 which is very close, but if we divide both sides by 7, then we'll get negative cosine of 7x. Okay, so we can go ahead and replace that. We get 1 half 7, 1 seventh, <laughs> oh boy, u to the negative 1, and then it's du. Oh, this should have been dx, huh? Can you tell it's getting late? There we go. So we end up with 1 seventh, the natural log, of the absolute value of u plus c. And in this example, u is sine of 7x. Now you say, Ms. Kleiber though, I have this rule totally memorized. Couldn't I use my memorized rule? Because we know that the integral of cotangent of 7x dx is equal to um, natural log of the absolute value of sine of x plus c. I'm sorry, the, the integral of cotangent of x is equal to that. So therefore, the integral of cotangent of 7x would be the natural log of sine of 7x plus c. And then we have to account for the 7x. So we take the derivative of the inside term and divide by it. And you notice now these two answers are exactly the same. So you can use your memorized rules. Well, that's going to be it for now, and then we're going to come together in Zoom and do a little bit of practice together.